The cell phone numbers of nearly every AT&T customer. That's what was exposed in a massive breach of the telecommunications giant. And that's the topic of today's Consumer Alert. I've been talking with spokespeople for AT&T as well as the FBI regarding the risk to consumers. So here's what I know. This is exactly what was compromised. Nearly all the cell numbers of AT&T customers from May 1st through October 31st of 2022. The numbers of customers of wireless providers that used AT&T's network during that period. Phone logs of everyone those customers texted or called. And what AT&T calls a very small number of customers who made calls or sent text messages January 2nd of 2023. And while AT&T says the contents of your phone calls or text messages were not exposed, Experts told NBC News that this kind of metadata can pose a huge national security risk. There are many publicly available tools that thieves can use to connect names and phone numbers. And with your metadata, it's easy to develop a picture of your routine, where you work, who you talk to most often, where you sleep every night. In an email to me this afternoon, the FBI acknowledged the potential national security threat, saying it was involved with a decision to delay telling the public about the breach, quote, due to the potential risks to national security and or public safety. An AT&T spokesman told me the company started notifying affected customers by text and email this morning. The spokesman has this advice. Only open text messages or emails from those you know and trust. Never give personal information by text or email to someone you don't know. And never click on a link in a text or an email from an unknown sender. Even if you recognize a business name or logo, instead go directly to that company's website. The breach of these call logs happened in April. Now that's just a month after another AT&T breach in which customer social security numbers were among the pieces of personal information stolen. Analysts that spoke to NBC News fear that thieves can combine information stolen in these breaches with another breach to try to steal your identity. You may want to consider freezing your credit with all three agencies, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. It is now free. It is easy. I've done it. And it can be done as often as you like. And that's your consumer alert.